it's April 6, 2011. It's the sixth day of Vita, and I'm Melissa. So, I have finished Harry Potter, EU Prisionero, the Azkaban. It was wonderful. I loved it, and now I am on Goblet of Fire. Oops, I am not Goblet of Fire. I'm not reading that. I'm reading Harry Potter, EU Chalice, Du Fogu, which is Goblet of Fire, technically, but I like Chalice Du Fogu much better. It sounds much cooler. Um... And actually, it's still something. So, in honor of that, I believe it is great to. I think I should wear this scarf because of my hair part scarf that I made. I made a paragon line. I think it was from the Monkey Cauldron's crafty thing. But yeah, I love it. And it's my scarf. And I made it with wonderful. Wonderful, awesome wool because, yeah, I'm a knitter. I've knitted a lot. Um, and because today's Wednesday, and every Wednesday I go to um, Stitch and Bitch, which is a uh, knitting, which for those of you who um, don't knit or crochet or do anything fun, um, and, uh, Stitch and Bitch is basically a knitting circle, and you get together uh, to, you know, wherever with other knitters and, and and stitchers and you and then you stitch, you talk and you on um, we meet at a yarn store, um, near my home. And it's awesome and it's great and that's where I get my yarn. My yarn I guess it's like a it's uh it's a local yarn store which means it's not like a um you know, it's not like a, a Chain. This is a place, so it's like very nice, and like it's like we all get together, we all become friends, and it's beautiful. And like we knit, so I figure I would tell you a little bit my knitting. So I have been knitting since for about a year or a year or so, a year or so, about a year. Maybe for a year or two, maybe um a year, a year. I'm not sure if I'm on my two years yet. Um, I have to check, check. But um, I decided to knit because my sister um was expecting, and I wanted to make something for the baby. So I made this scarf, really ugly. I'm not gonna show it to you ever. You ever? You have to come here and like. Nothing is gonna get me to get that scarf out. No one is ever gonna see it ever because it's ugly and disgusting and gross. And I'm like, I hate that scarf. Um, but I love this scarf because it's Harry Potter. <laughs> um, but basically, I made and I and I learned and I got better and I I actually learned how to knit on YouTube. YouTube because a lot of the um books I had would like it's very like if you knit you know like the books are not that like, great. With I mean books are wonderful. That's what I'm saying. Um, but, like, for me, either A, they would give me too much information, which means I'd be so confused, I'm like, what the heck did you just do? You just do. Or, or, the other thing was that they would give me too little information that I, again, would be like, what the heck, what, what, no, wait, you, you, you didn't tell me what I'm supposed to do, um, between that. Help. So I went on YouTube and I found all these videos for knitting knitting and like the people and they would show like a friend like videos and people showing you how to do the stitches and stuff and how to cast on and how to cast off and how to do like increasing and decreasing and I went from doing a boring garden discharge to a lovely rib to a lovely rib and nice stuff and knowing to Probably my most difficult project ever in the world, which I finished like in October, and I was working on it since like <coughs> I saw something. Um, it's like I don't know March or April or something. So like, oh, I don't know how many months. No, 
Yeah, October, November, I don't know. No, September, I don't know, like fall. So it's like spring to fall. I worked on this every single day and yeah, this is it. This is it. This is difficult. You had to do so many it's lace and you had to do like things. So like I would not only have to do like I do yarn overs, I do like the way like the ink the decreases because it was like a different you had to do, like this weird thing was like get a slip and then you had to you had to do something I had to like knit two and then I had to slip something and I was like oh my god oh my god I don't wanna do this anymore but I finished it and it's a lovely lovely pattern and it's beautiful and I like to knit and I like to make stuff for people and I like to knit mostly for other people for like my family only because it's much more and plus and plus honestly when they're like babies it's like much more fun to make stuff for them because it's like so cute and like you can find anything you can knit anything for anyone when your friend likes Doctor Who knit them a, knit, knit them the the who? knit them a TARDIS hat your friend likes Harry Potter Harry Potter scarf your friend likes Mario a Mario pillow would be nice your friend likes your friend likes um the Vancouver Canucks knit them a sweater with the Canucks emblem on them um, they'll love it so before we come I'd like to show you my current project which is a very simple stack um stack no gar stitch which also ha which has some lace in it it's gar stitch lace and offline and I'm using um a green um multicolor yarn which gives it a kind of nice yeah it's like tie-dye in a way I don't know tie-dye like the ice card but it's beautiful so I hope you enjoyed my lovely knitting I will see you tomorrow hopefully earlier in the day I hope you all have a nice day and bye